Well, this is where I began just about uh, 30 years ago, uh, I'm back at my parents' house uh, in uh, one of my old offices. Start off in the corner of my bedroom. Uh, maybe one day I'll vlog there. Uh, but we're opening the vlog for Saturday. It's a little late. It's uh, just about uh, uh, 22 hours and 40 minutes into the day of Saturday. I think it's December uh, 12th. Uh, I'm going to check, <laughs> check, check that out. I'm not exactly sure. And we're starting, we're, we're beginning the vlog for the weekend. This is what happens. The weekend turns into one massive vlog, so there will be more segments coming on sun Sunday. That's in a couple of hours. So we're okay. We're all right. It just, uh, uh, I started off here 30 years ago doing, uh, puzzles, 30,000, uh, the 3,000 piece puzzles. And it took a long time to do it, and so I'd have to find ways of occupying my time while I was spending, like, you know, eight, nine hours putting puzzles together. Uh, and I, I was able to do it. I was able to sort of get th through everything. But then, uh, when I began my career in physics, uh, that's uh, the puzzle that really sort of expanded, uh, where the puzzles were no longer uh, restricted to what was in the box, these were puzzles that were outside the box, so the pieces were literally scattered everywhere around the world. And, uh, I learned to get, learned from the puzzle making process, how to put together a library, how to put together information in such a manner that, uh, I could go out and do the amount of research that I did. This is, was the beginning of, of, in, in, way, in any ways, the steps that would lead me to create, to create Cyborg Alpha which would be the computer, uh, my computer personality, the, 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 the computer half of me that would go out and do all the research that would be necessary to do. And it's still growing. The Cyborg Alpha in terms of its, the network structure is still growing. It's still evolving. And over the next couple of weeks, I hope to be putting in, because I am testing out some new methodologies, uh, I'll be uh, rearranging and realigning uh, my network. Uh, that, that actually forms the Cyborg Alpha Net. And uh, that's going to then give me new capacity to move out onto Google and so all, all these sort of the, the internet space and start bringing components together that I didn't actually necessarily have all the components to. And it, it, it occurs on a bit-by-bit -bit basis. It's not something that's instant. Uh, and it just, it's just like Lord's Mobile. Lord's Mobile is, again, piece-by-piece, week by week, month by month, and eventually year by year, but I don't think I'll be in Lord's Mobile for more than uh, another two years. I think uh, uh, two years I'll be at the end of Lord's Mobile, moving on to the next and greater puzzle. This would be QLARP. This would be the bringing LARP into the real world environment and doing something along those lines in terms of uh, my gaming being being sort of in the real world rather than being uh, fictitious and uh, just a simulation. You know, you go out of simulation into uh, into reality, and as that occurs, uh, the time for for simulation in terms of the gaming shifts because you don't have the time to put into the the, the simulations that you would have if you were doing it in, in sort of in real. Because the real time gaming takes an enormous amount of time. It takes much longer than. Uh, you would have for um, <laughs> my parents. and have the real world experience and the, the real world experience is more intense it's it's uh, more time consuming and more patience is required so that's kind of where we're going for the weekend and we're, we're going into this again the this is the meditation part I'm uh, increasing my meditation I'm almost at the point where the meditation is continuous it's whether I'm I'm sleeping, whether I'm awake or in the prayers, the meditation is almost continuous. Uh, that is a next level up, and then we have to go further from there. So where it goes next is anybody's guess, but this is what exploration is all about. Exploration is going into the unknown, pushing your edge, pushing your limit, and having that be your existence. It's not for everybody, but I enjoy it. So anyways, uh, See you maybe in a couple hours for uh, the next.
the next segment of the vlog. This is the opening, the opening, uh, the intro to the vlog, if you will. There's the bus. While it is December 13th, it is uh, 23 hours and 31 minutes into the day of Sunday, December 13th. And we're in the back room, and I'm going to end the vlog here for the weekend because it has been a very, very long weekend. But this is kind of how things go. The, the, um, I forgot. No, I didn't forget to bring in some, I, I thought I forgot things, but I didn't forget them. So I'm get this here. I had told you about how I had gotten... An ultrasonic cleaner for my uh, kitchen sink. Well, you can get this on Amazon. You can get this all over the place. Uh, the problem is, the it does a good job, uh, but it doesn't last too long. This is it here. This is the device. It's a little, a little dish type of thing here. Uh, you plug it into a uh, USB charger. It does. It's a USB uh, uh, USB powered, and that goes into an electrical socket. And you should have that on a GFI switch, uh, ground fault uh, interrupt strip switch, switch, just in case uh, something gets wet on the plug, and uh, you need to have the electricity cut off very quickly. Uh, that's why the GFI is there. It acts as a uh, safety mechanism just in case you need, you know, so you don't plug it in while your hands are in the water. Because uh, things do happen. There are electrical shorts and well, that's what happened. That's no longer working. The device is no longer working. It worked for two, three days and that's it. But uh, the company I ordered it from, the uh, the shopping center, online shopping center, gave me my money back and I was very happy with that. But I realized the mechanism, I could... Uh, use, uh, there are these electric toothbrushes that operate by battery. Those toothbrushes use the same principle. They use the ultrasonic principle in order to move the brush. It's not actually, you're not actually getting a physical mechanism moving the brush head around. It's actually, uh, it's ultrasonic. And so I said, well, okay, let me try two of these. Uh, I put, so I put two in with batteries, two toothbrushes in with batteries. Uh, into the sink, the same job. What you're looking for is you're looking for these bubbles. So you have the water, it's clear, you don't put any soap in it initially to test it out. Leave it in there for about a half hour. In about a half hour, do you see bubbles forming inside, say, glasses or whatever? Do you see these tiny little bubbles forming inside the glass? If you see the tiny bubbles forming in the glass you have that weren't necessarily there before, that means the ultrasonic system is working because it's creating the bubbles. And because the bubbles are trapped within the glass, right, because the glass is lying down sideways, uh, and let's see, so this, this is the cavity of the glass. This is what we're talking about, cavities and stuff like that. It's a hole, the so here's, here's the outside of the glass, all around, so you're seeing a sort of a, a cutout view of it. Uh, inside here uh, is the water, and it, it's also covered because it's in, but what you should start seeing is you should start seeing bubbles form on the inside, either on the rim of the glass or back at, or, or back at the edge of the glass uh, right around here. That's where you should be seeing bubbles start to form. That is the uh, operation of uh, the ultrasonic. That's how ultrasonic cleans with its waves. The higher the frequency, the smaller the bubbles. And you can do it with a higher frequency. You can actually do a deeper cleaning. And so this is how it worked, and, and the two toothbrushes, uh, well, I get them for about $10 a piece, uh, work fine. They're excellent job. Any toothbrush that has an ultrasonic feature to it that's operated by batteries will substitute, will substitute for this. And I did that today starting at 9 o'clock. Uh, it's now 11. I also did some gaming. Uh, I did uh, an hour's worth of meditation, and then from there, uh, uh, um, I came back and started watching the YouTube vlog, and that's what I'm doing now. Is I'm on the uh, not the YouTube, YouTube vlog, the YouTube stroll. 
So I'm watching vlogs on the YouTube store. Right now, I'm at uh, It's Our Life. And that's kind of where I'm leaving off here. I think our discussion was good enough. The discussion still goes on, because right now, as we're, ta as we're speaking, uh, Canada's going into lockdown. Uh, you're not allowed to have everyone, anyone over for Christmas. Zero people. You don't have. You can't have any families over. Any family. It, it only the immediate household is allowed over. Is over, allowed over. Zero guests, including family. It has to be people who are immediate to the household. So, if you're living in the household, you can be there. But if you're not living in the household, like you're, let's say, a brother or, or an uncle or whatever, and you, but you're outside the house, you have your own apartment. You won't. You can't go there. Sorry, <laughs> you know. And the thing is, they're forcing. They, they've got the, the the lockdowns are completely ridiculous because, as they put up on Instagram, and I'll actually I can show you this now because we are here with Instagram, and I'll show you the uh, the post here. And now that I've got my phone here like this, I can do that. So let me pull my Instagram up. The wrong account. Okay. I have said something about COVID. And since this is going to be in here. I have said, cats carry COVID. Euthanize your cats too. Just as, ba uh, just as, as uh, you do for birds and pigs for H1N1. And of course, this was flagged by this was flagged by Instagram as being in, inappropriate or in, in, incorrect or well, however you want to describe it. So you can't see it there. I'll, 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 put, up a, I'll put up a graphic showing this. And says, for information about COVID-19, visit Canada. Because this was put in because I have COVID in there. It, it, and it talks about Health Canada. The comment removed for, 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 coordinating, for coordinating or promoting... Uh, Promoting, promoting crime. I'm not promoting a crime. Nor am I promoting harm. This is a standard practice is that when an animal has an infection like H1N1, pigs and birds are culled in order to, to stop the disease. This is standard practice. And what I've put up here, but they didn't sort of, uh, again, the people who are supposed to check these things out didn't check it out. This is from Cornell University. And it says Cornell University, and this is where our PC, yet, where the coronavirus test comes from. It comes from a feline clinic. It comes from a, a veterinary clinic. Uh, it's called v uh, Feline Coronavirus F O F C O V. And actually, what I'll do is I'll put the graphic up here, or actually I'll put the graphic up here, uh, and you'll see that this, uh, this. Infection, the the virus exists within cats, and they, they have a very high rate of output. Cats and the cat feces, because you, you, everyone has their litter box indoors. Cats don't go to the bathroom outside; they like dogs do. They go to the bathroom inside. Those feces in your cat litter box is filled with coronavirus. If anyone's getting coronavirus, well, how do you all, how do I all test positive for coronavirus? Simple, because your cats, your cats have corona, and it's in their feces. It doesn't necessarily affect them that well. They have, they, they get, it, it, it generally causes asymptomatic infection. What are we seeing with people who are test positive with, with corona? We're seeing asymptomatic. That means without, symptoma, without symptoms. Yeah. But can cause my, mild diarrhea or mild uh, illness. It's very mild. This is again, but most of the cases that we're seeing, it says as yet poorly understood changes in the virus can give rise to mutants that lead to the development of feline infectious peritonitis, which is more serious. But the thing is that they don't understand what the mechanism is, and this is a, this isn't a new thing. This is something that's been known about in the veterinary world for a long time, and this is where our PC. This is and this is talking about the. The PT PCR, the PT P, uh, the sorry the RT PCR. That's the test, which is for for cat feline coronavirus. That's what we're using now. How were they able to develop the the, the 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 vaccine? How they were able to develop 
the test for uh, 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 Corona so quickly? Because they were already using it in veterinary clinics. Yet, Health Canada mentions none of this. So let's say, let's say you're wearing a mask outside, so you're doing the, what, the, what they say is the proper thing to do. Top doctors, top scientists, oh, they all say, right? So it's coming from Health Canada, that this is all the top stuff. You wear your mask outside, you do your proper social distance, you do everything. You go home, you clean out your class little box without wearing the mask, guess what you're getting infected with? Because it's in the feces. It's in, the, it's in the cat poop. It's in the litter box. Coronavirus. How are all these people testing positive corona, for, for coronavirus? Well, they can't, but you're seeing all these massive numbers. Simple, because it's in the cats. Anyone with a cat will more likely to not test positive for, for, for coronavirus. Not that it's going to be anything serious. It's primarily asymptomatic, as, this, as stated in the article. This is from Cornell University. Cornell is a very restrict, uh, respected university. Top level. That's the science. That's the research. Yet none of this comes out. And it, and it doesn't matter what side you're on. You, you, you listen to both people argue back and forth. Well, they're sheeple and they're this and they're that, you know. The arguments, the, 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 there's no science in it. They're not even arguing with the issue. The, 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 the level of research that people are doing on both sides is so minimal they're not even talking they're not arguing about the same they're not arguing about coronavirus they're arguing about who's right and who's wrong they're not arguing over over the actual uh, the, the structure of the coronavirus they're not doing virology but this is so where we are now we're back in lockdown again and that's it and uh, people are, are sending me Christmas stuff, you know, oh, happy Christmas. There, we'll all be together, you know, all this, the, the, you know, the Charlie Brown stuff. How are we all going to be together? Been, how are we all going to be together? Christmas has been canceled. So happy New Year. Because there's no more Christmas, or well, maybe New Year's Eve is going to be canceled too. This is what they've done. This is the new normal. And nobody... Is opposing this. Happy, I hope you're happy with what you voted for. Because this is the new normal. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. This whole COVID thing, you know, after Biden's elected, it's all going to go away. It's just an election ploy. Really? Why are we in lockdown then? Particularly up here in Canada. If it's about Biden, why are we, why are we still in lockdown? Why is Justin Trudeau always talking about the Great Reset, the communist takeover of the world, the UN takeover of the world? Why are they always talking about that? This is the reality of today, and this is unfortunately where where we're where we are currently. But this brings up in many cases new options new means of doing things. And so this is a matter of sitting down and getting, getting that stuff done.